So just a little bit on the brushes that I've been using. I'm hoping these will show up. So I've been using script liners. This is the smallest one that I have. This is the one I've been using. I don't know if you can see that. You can get an idea how small these are. This is another script liner with longer bristles. I actually haven't used that one just yet because it's so long. This is another script liner. This one I have used. So all three of these are script liners, but this one is the one I use mostly. So I found yesterday something new as far as the brushes go. These are called spotters. This is a spotter. I don't know if you see how tiny that is. It's very tiny. And then this is the other spotter that I bought. It's a little bit thicker, but tinier. So just to get an idea with my finger, that's how tiny this one is. These are both called spotters and these are script liners. And they, they are actually um, written with sizes. For example, this one, that's upside down. Let me see if I can focus on it. This one's a 10 over zero. I don't know exactly what that means, but that seems to be the smallest available. This one, the, the uh, spotter is a five over zero and it, it's pretty small. And then this other one, this one is a 10 over zero with less bristles. So they have some kind of crazy size guide, almost like needle gauges do. But I'm going to be trying these for the fur and the bird feathers because I've been using this one and I've used this one, but they're just a little too big for the detail I'm trying to do. So just a little info on some brushes. Thanks for watching.